color. It looks like I was just fell into a bin of sand and dirt. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm making things worse. Not happy about that. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna be starting off with something super summery, and that is self-tanning. Okay, I don't self-tan at all. I tried it once last year, and nothing really happened. I've never had a spray tan before. I did live in the Philippines for most of my life, but I've always been so fair-skinned that I'm not even sure I can tan. I don't wanna invest in a tanning salon or a home tanning salon. So I'm trying the next best thing, self-tanner. This is the Bondi Sands Aero self-tanning foam and this is like ultra dark. I tried this last year. I don't know, I felt like something happened but not a lot. So this time I decided, you know what, let me film my journey, see what happens. Maybe you'll notice something and I'm gonna try and maybe double up on this. Step one is you need to like make sure your skin is super smooth and all the dry skin and gunk is washed away. So I'm about to hop in the shower and do just that. I have some shower stuff here. I have my hand loofah. I like this much more than the loofah thing. Those don't really do much when it comes to exfoliation. I feel like these one do a better job. I also have some brushes. These are both dry brushes, but I also like to use them with soap to like really rub off everything on my skin. So all that's left is bones. I got the tree hut shea sugar scrub everybody's been talking about this i had to know what was going on why is there hype around this so i went and bought myself a tub uh, this one is in the scent moroccan rose i don't usually like flowery scents but moroccan rose smells so good i also really want to pick up the coco paradise scent which smells like coconut and pineapple and oh it's so good they're watermelon Mm, you could eat it. If I didn't know better, I would eat this thing. And lastly, to soothe my skin from all the rubbing and brushing, I'm gonna be using the Shower Oil by L'Occitane. This is their almond shower oil. This is going viral right now and for good reason. I just bought the small one so far. I just love this. I feel so luxe. First step two, it does say to apply this liberally around your body using the application mitt. Now, I do have the application mitt right here. I used it once. It is good enough. I like it. It doesn't seem to bother me at all. So I'll be using this also for my back. I don't have a like a back mitt and I'm alone right now so no one can do it for me. So I found this like hair thing for your hair and I'll probably just like rub it on my back just like like this and I'm pretty sure it'll do the job. I never use this. It's white. I know it's gonna get ruined. And for the third step, it does say that I should leave this on for at least six hours. The longer, the better though. If I want a deeper tan, I can reapply the mousse after 30 minutes. Honestly, I kind of want to reapply it because last time I did this, I didn't really notice a big difference. I'll just hop into the shower and get myself all bloody and exfoliated and I'll hop back here to show you how I apply this okay so we are out of the shower so the next step i did was moisturize now i don't like to use any kind of scented or special moisturizer before i tan i just want to you know keep it simple so i'm using the cerave moisturizing cream all over my body and i'm just gonna let that like sit and absorb into my skin you might be wondering why my hair is still in this towel i'm actually doing a video as well on heatless curls so i got like this thing here i want to try something and if that video up I will be linking it up here and down below so if you want to watch those things please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video if you did but yeah let's get into it I'm gonna start with my legs and work my way up that's just how I think we should do things I'm gonna give this a good shake does it say shake before I'm actually not sure okay I'm really nervous it was fine it was fine it's fine right it's gonna be fine It smells so good. I love the smell of the Bondi Sands Aero because it smells like summer and vanilla and pineapple and coconut. I love the smell of this. I hear that a lot of the time self-tanners smell weird, so I'm glad this one doesn't. So yeah, let's start with the legs and let's zoom into that. So here are my legs. They're pretty, I don't know, white uh, and fair. Let's uh, start putting the tan on.
So I don't actually know if you can tell, but there is a difference between this leg which I tanned and this leg which is not tanned. But this is like freshly applied. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and do my whole body and I'll catch you later. So right now that's how it looks like. The difference is quite big. I mean, I'm gonna wash this off so I'm not sure how much of a difference it's actually gonna make. So I have finished applying it. It is 810. I don't know if you can see 810, but I will be reapplying 30 minutes after, which the bottle does say if you want a deeper tan. And again, I tried this last year. My tan wasn't super deep, so I kind of want to reapply. And uh, that is it. I'm going to sleep. It says to leave it for at least six hours. I'm going to sleep and I'll probably just come back tomorrow after 12 hours. That's just the easiest thing for me. And I'll show you the results. So I'll check back tomorrow. Bye. Hello, we are back. It is almost nine o'clock in the morning and right now I am actually super tan, I know this, but oh my gosh, look at that. So I have this mark on my wrist that is obviously not gonna look nice. Um, I have a few marks as well on my other wrist. To be honest, it's my fault. I did forget to wash my face. So I applied all of this, let it dry for a couple hours, and then I washed my face. And so the water kind of like trickled through my wrists and I wiped it hoping that it wouldn't really affect and I kind of rubbed my wrists together, but it was obviously not working. So when you are applying this, make sure you do not have to wash your hands after. Just make sure... The next thing that you do is just like sit still, let it dry, and then go to bed. I think that's the best way. So everything else seems good. Like it seems smooth enough. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, the wrist part, it looks like honestly the color, it looks like I was just fell into a bin of sand and dirt and just got stuck on me or something. It's a weird color for me right now, but I will have to wash this off. So yeah, it says shower with warm water and gently pat skin dry. So I also checked my sheets and I'm really impressed. There were no stain marks, but I did use gray sheets. I didn't notice any kind of staining or like brown staining or whatever, so I'm happy about that. I don't know if it's gonna be the same for white sheets, so just bear in mind, just use your colored sheets or just put a blanket over something you don't really care about. Yeah, I'm also wearing a black top, so I don't really notice any problems with it. So let me take a shower and I'll be right back to show you the final reveal of my bronzy arrow tan. So this is the final result after washing. It is definitely so much better than pre-washing. I look more golden as you can tell versus like muddy which I was so afraid that this would just leave that muddy color. And look what happened to those like spots on my wrist. They're gone like you can't even tell that I had like splotchiness over there, which I'm so happy about because I mean, I wouldn't want that on my wrist no less. Like it's like for everyone to see. So I'm very happy about that. My legs look nice and golden as well, which I'm so happy about. I did shave prior to tanning. That's just a, what a lot of people said to do. The weird thing though is my, what do you call these things? It didn't really take to the tan at all. And it's pretty obvious. I have to say, my skin has this beautiful coconut, like, lingering smell, which I am not mad about. I hear a lot of tanning mousses have, like, a weird smell. This is not sponsored, by the way, by Bondi Sands. I wish one day. I don't think this is ultra dark. I think this is more like a medium dark. And this is two applications. Now, the mitt is not my absolute favorite. It doesn't have, like, a thumb, which other people like but the problem with having no thumb in there is it can't lock it into place so as I was like rubbing my body with the mousse it would like tend to go like this and then like this and it would just like rotate weirdly and I did not like that very much I do like the size of it though it's small enough everything just washed off very smoothly and produced a beautiful color to enhance the tan I did purchase this Everyday Gradual Tanning Milk. This gets a lot of good reviews. Basically, I just have to put this on on clean and dry skin. So I can actually put this on right now. I will try to apply it every so often to keep the tan. We'll see how long that will last or if it's 
gonna work at all I am planning to buy like tanning water for my face I just want to see if that's gonna help because during times where I don't want to wear foundation I can't go out looking like this. I feel like it's a little mm. I am so excited. I'm tan. Yay. It's summer I am really happy about this tan three days later Okay, it has been a few days since the first application of the Aero tan and it is currently the end of the day It's like 8 30 in the evening and I just got home from work so I'm a little I look a little haggard but you know let's let's forgive let's forgive I actually put this on at 8 30 in the evening on a Saturday and it is Thursday today first thing I noticed I have been getting some patches that I'm not very happy with number one my hands my hands have changed color already it's wearing off very quickly and very obviously because I wash my hands constantly number two my wrists if you can see i assume it's because i wear my watch on this wrist it's not happening on the other wrist but it is happening on this wrist so i am blaming my watch for this and the sweat buildup also the weirdest thing i really don't like this one so for some reason this thing on my elbow here the inside of my elbow they are like completely gone and these are pretty noticeable they got bigger what i'm gonna do is i actually want to reapply just on that area just to even things out the legs though everything seemed good on the legs i don't really see very much patchiness going on everything else seems fine my chest and everything seems fine it's just the wrist and the innards of my elbow for now i'm gonna try and fix what I have over here, just a little bit, maybe like a little bit. One quick layer. It's not even taking, like, oh my gosh, look at this. Can you see that? That's horrible. I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm making things worse. We can leave this overnight and see what happens tomorrow. It's just one layer, so it should be fine. Not happy about that. Catch you later when the weekend comes. Bye. One week later. So it has been one week since I applied the Bondi Sands Aero Tan. I have thoughts. We saw how a few days ago I had some problems with my inside elbows here and it was really evident. So what I did was I put some more tan and then just left it overnight and washed it off. I have to say that improved things a bit. So I don't know if that's just an area that is known to not be taking tan very well. Also, my wrist, now I can see like a watch starting to form. Everywhere else, the fade is pretty even, especially on my legs, so I'm happy about that. Also, my decolletage and my shoulders, they seem pretty good still. Overall, my experience with this tan is pretty good. Um, it was really easy to apply. It applied pretty even, and it only started like breaking, especially on this area and my watch area, like three, four days in. But the tan overall is still intact. It's still good, and it's still gracefully fading. Now, I have been using the gradual tanning milk, not every single single day but I have used it twice or three times because sometimes I just forget. Also I tan my face with the Saint Tropez face mist. I do have a video on that and I'll be linking that up here. Would I recommend this? Absolutely. I think it's great. It smells good. It also pairs very well with the tanning milk which I like. I try to keep my skin as hydrated as I can. Would I buy it again? I'm not sure because I also really want to try everything out there. There's so many tanning products out there and I haven't even started to look for anything because this is my first tanning mousse product ever. And so that's the only reason why I might not repurchase it in the future. If you did like the video, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and comment down below what you'd like to see next. And if you want to support me, please hit that video here, 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 and here. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!